Sunday, May 17th, collecting our heroes and sheroes. Winnelly Z, good morning. And I'm Sharon Ketchum. And today um, we are going to have a part of, this is part one of our three-part service. So we would first like to welcome you to Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing, where our mission is to spiritually awaken to our oneness with God, with each other, and with all creation. And our vision statement is one we hold collectively with other Unity Churches. We see a world powerfully transformed through the growing movement of shared spiritual awakening. And we say shared spiritual awakening because we understand it's not like there's a right and perfect path. You have to get the right answer. It's about each of us honoring ourselves and each other, whatever path we're on and wherever we are on that path. So I'd like to start out with our ecumenical prayer together. The enlightenment of the Buddha shines within us. The compassion of the Christ shines through us. The power of Jehovah strengthens and guards us. The presence of Allah surrounds and guides us. Wherever we are, the Tao is, and all is God. I tell time now to practice some self-hug. Since we're not together, personally, let's put our right hand on our left shoulder, our left hand on our right shoulder, and give ourselves a much-deserved hug. Just a much deserved shot of love in there. Just give yourself all that you need to give to somebody else today. And uh, yeah, <sighs> that's one advantage. We get to do self hugs as a regular thing, you know, as we're going through this pandemic. But I don't normally do that to myself and maybe I should hug myself. <laughs> and we are a prayer ministry. Our prayer team is still working. And if you have a prayer request, you can email it it to usclprayerpractitioners at gmail.com or call into the church office and leave a message and our prayer team holds you an affirmative prayer for 30 days and there's additional 30 more days of prayer with silent unity also if any of you like a daily inspiration we do have some daily words still here for may and june so leave us a message on the phone machine and we will uh, send you out a copy something a little something to lift your spirits every morning I'd like to join together now in an affirmative prayer uh, put out by Unity Worldwide Ministries, a prayer for humanity and our current world condition. We know that God is a love that has no end and a power that knows no bounds. God's healing power of divine life is restoring, healing, and revitalizing our world in this very moment. We let go of any fears or anxieties, and we affirm that all are safe, healthy and protected. We bless all those who support us in maintaining vibrant, radiant health. We express divine life in all we think, say, and do. We bless our global family and earth itself with radiant health, peace of mind, and abundant love. And so it is, amen. Heart to heart connections. We do like to stay connected um, as a family, even though we're virtual. Uh, prayer practitioners are available if you'd like a weekly contact, um, either by phone or email, any prayer requests you might have. We do have cloth masks available. Sue Winklestern and uh, Liz Baker are busy making those, so just let me know if you need any. But you know what? You know, Wendell, I haven't been in the office much working a lot at home. I come in here today, you know what we're out of? Toilet paper. Oh my gosh, I have a gift for you. Do you? Oh, that would be great. No, no. Oh my goodness, that's wonderful. Well, yeah, just here, let me get it from you. Oh, look at that. This is worth gold these days, right? This awesome. is a magic bucket. I love it. Thank you so much. Yes, meeting our needs one roll at a time. <laughs> Excellent. Well, I'm going to turn it over to you for a little daily word. Wonderful. Good morning. My name is Winnelly C. And our daily word today is let go, let God. Inspired by a verse from Deuteronomy, from there you will see God and you will find it if you search for God with all your heart and soul. The reading, when faced with the decision to make, do our thoughts turn immediately to divine guidance or do we seek God's help only when all else fails? Mm -hmm. Unity co-founder Charles Fillmore 
wrote that God loves to be used. And the more you use God, the more easily you use him and the more pleasant God's help becomes. God lives in us and expresses through us. All of the attributes of God are as near as our next thought. We release our attachment to limited human reasoning. We center our minds and hearts on the constant flow of divine love, wisdom, understanding, strength. <clears throat> In the divine flow, we find answers to questions, new possibilities for good to emerge. We move forward with confidence. Let us affirm together, I let go and trust the divine in me. Boy, that's one to take a breath on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, let go and trust the divine. But we... Uh, I'd like to follow that up with a blessing for Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing as we affirm, open to deeper spiritual understanding, Unity Spiritual Center resolves and heals without struggle or strain. We handle our affairs and decisions with good judgment and positive, bold conviction. We are divinely guided to right action and innovative solutions in sacred synchronicity. Aligned with spirit, we are prospered and whole as a community and as individuals. And so it is. Amen. Winnelly. Yes, I'd love to share our core value for Unity Spiritual Center of Lansing mm -hmm. this month. is inclusiveness. We understand the truth that each and every person is a unique expression of God. As we awaken spiritually, we come to know that it enriches our lives to not only live in a diverse community, but to also ensure it is an inclusive community where the intrinsic worth of each and every person is valued and honored. Let us affirm together we embrace all people as expressions of God. Excellent. And though we aren't meeting and gathering in person, we have a number of things going on as we're Zooming around. Everybody's learning how to use Zoom these days. Uh, Monday through Friday, you have a conversation cafe. You're welcome to just drop in and it's nothing formal. We just chat about whatever might come up or might be on our minds. Uh, Wednesdays, we have our prayer circle, 6 to 6.30. Um, meditation and prayer, that's just a really nice break in the middle of the week. Thursdays, of course, the miracles. This Friday, the Tango class is on again with Chris uh, McInhill. Tango is a great kind of meditative, conscious doodling. It's really kind of fun. Uh, Saturdays in the morning, uh, light will set you free with Dave Meter. And then, of course, Sundays, we got the Zoom links to our... Uh, our unity services and messages and meditations. And if you're watching this on Sunday, May 17th at 1030, we are going to have a fellowship time this week uh, on Zoom. So join us there. You can get the link on the USCL discussion group Facebook page. So gee, we have a busy week up there. <laughs> well, I'm so excited that you're going to do this song, Winnelly. It's, it's one of my favorite. It always just stirs me. So I'll let you tell about it. I agree. Uh, this song has deep meaning to me. One of my greatest fears was to jump out of a perfectly good airplane. <laughs> and I wanted to face that fear. So when I went skydiving and they did a video, this was the song I chose to go behind it. It was one of my greatest fears. It was so liberating. Wow. So this is deeply meaningful to me. Uh, enjoy. Again, dear friend, Janice Stanfield. What would I do if I knew that I could not fail? If I believed with the wind always fill up my sail? 
How far would I go? What could I achieve? Trusting the hero in me. If I were brave, I'd walk the razor's edge where true believers dare to tread. I'd never lose faith, even when losing my way. What step would I take today if I were brave? What would I do today if I were brave? What would I do today if I were brave? What would I do today if I were brave? What would I do today if I were brave? What if we're all meant to do what we secretly dream? What would you ask if you knew you could have anything? Like a mighty oak sleeps in the heart of a seed. Are there miracles in you and me? You know there are. If I were brave, I'd walk the razor's edge where true believers dare to tread. I'd never lose faith, even when losing my way. What step would I take today if I were brave? What would I do today? If I were brave, what would I do today? If I were brave, what would I do today? If I were brave, what would I do today? If I were brave, if I refused to listen to the voice of fear, would the voice of courage whisper in my ear? This is what I'd hear. I am brave enough to move ahead where true believers dare to tread. I'll never lose faith, even when losing my way. What step will I take today? I am brave. What will I do today? I am brave. What will I do today? I am brave. What will you do today? You are brave. What will you do today? You are brave. What will we do today? We are brave. I love that song. What would I do today if I were brave? You know, that's a question we should just be asking ourselves all the time. I'm just going to make it the, oh, I know, get, get us back up here together. There we are together. Yeah. <laughs> and right now, like the whole world is being brave in ways nobody thought they could do. Absolutely. Even those squirrels. I saw one of those squirrels again out in the main road. They just sit there like they own the place because they do. They do. It's, it's just lovely, just lovely. I go back to our screen share here and just, uh, anybody that does want to support um, Unity here, they can do it by uh, donating online and also sending checks uh, to our office. And we do hope that they will go ahead and everybody binge watch us today and, and see the whole thing. It's such a great routine 
uh, put all together. We got the music and the prayers and the meditation, and the message, and hopefully it's touched people's hearts. Also, uh, this quarter we are supporting Haven House, which uh, helps families stay together during trying times. And I thought, why, what an ideal time to be supporting the great work that they do. So anyway, thank you all very much. I will see you on demand. Bye-bye. <laughs> Have a good one. And...